Hey, this is Vito from Jersey. How you doing? I'm down here on the Hackensack River in Karlstadt, New Jersey. Uh, Barge Park. Nice. Look at this. Want to see some beautiful... The sun is just hitting the water. And look where it's sparkling off the water. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Those are diamonds, right? And you could, they're like diamonds. You can see them, you can enjoy them, but you can't possess them. A little bit of wisdom from Vito from Jersey, huh? I tell you, it's nice here, right? Look at this shit. Here we go. Yeah, see? You know what I don't like? If you look out that way, you see the you see cars and shit. I don't want to see no cars. I want to see, like, just nice stuff. Who's these guys? Guys are coming out. They're getting a boat out here. It's pretty cool. It's pretty good. It's nice. I come out here. Uh, come out here. I try to come out here every day until it gets too cold. I sit here by myself and I meditate. I pray. My friend George Perenni said to me one time, we brought him down here, we were working out, you know, doing some, um, you know, martial arts, the was just moving nice, like Tai Chi. And it's beautiful down here, see, look at that. And he said to me, you know, if you come down here every day, it'll change your life. So, um, I started coming down every day. I don't know if it changed my life, but... It's like a meditation, it's nice, it's quiet. I don't have to hear the city. You know, I'm in the middle of the city here, northern New Jersey. This is like the friggin', what was it, like 50 years ago? Maybe more than 50 years ago, 70 years ago, one of the states that came to northern New Jersey said it was the ugliest part of America. And it's gotten considerably worse since then. So if there's a spot that's nice, you know? The only thing I don't like, Friggin' Canadian geese come in. Look at all the goose shit. I don't know if you can see that. There's goose crap. Look, the size of dog crap all over the dock. They come and clean it off. My buddy Angelo Urado, he runs the joint down here, and uh, he's the he's the main guy, you know. Angelo and um, his buddy Carmine, they're like the river keepers, you know. Yeah, you see how the Guinea's got it all sewn up? Your town, Vito, Angelo, Carmine, Northern New Jersey. We got it all sewn up up here. Pretty soon it'll turn, it'll turn though. Italians will move out, go out to more out to the mid, mid of the country and be any Italian neighborhoods anymore. And the Spanish will move in, it'll be Spanish. Just like the Italians pushed the uh, Irish out, they were in Hoboken. You know, the Italians came in, they were like the Guineas. They were like, you know. Yeah, they were the new immigrants and criminals and all kind of bullshit, you know. You know, you guys got to read my book. I don't know if you know, I put out Sins of the Fathers. It's kind of based on my life. Based on my life. Don't read the book and go, oh my God, Vito did this and that. It's based on all the stories in there are true, but they didn't all happen to me. That's why the main character is Anthony Messina, right? And he's a Sicilian immigrant that came... Um, came into Hoboken when he was young. And all the stories are true. But I just conglomerated them all into one character. They're all true. All northern New Jersey. It's pretty good. But it's based on my life. Like, I based it on my life. Like, you know, growing up growing up in the street, being in the street, you know, street gangs or street clubs, right? And, um, you know, we were the Blackhawks in Hoboken. We were Blackhawks. We ran Hoboken. We ran the streets of Hoboken, the Blackhawks. Street gang. Then you got the... Um, then you and I went to the military. You know, Vietnam era. Went in, into the military. Came out. Worked with my Uncle Frank. My Uncle Frank was a, was a big man in Hoboken. And, we're, you know, did some stuff with him. You know. But, you know. It's just kind of based on it, you know. Based on my life. 
It's an interesting book. But anyway, I don't even know what the hell I started to talk about it. I just started yakking because I'm out here. But listen, uh, I'm going to put the book up, show you the book. And uh, it's out, it's published. It's called Sins of the Fathers by Vito Quattrochi. Q-U-A-T-T-R-O-C-C-H-I. You go to Lulu Publishing and you'll see it. But I'm going to put it up and uh, you can go to my Facebook page too. Vito Quattrochi Facebook. And you'll see me. I got like a I got like a cap on with glasses. You see the picture? And pick me up and you see, you know, friend me or whatever, you know. I gotta do another I gotta put up another Facebook page just to like sell my books and stuff. I got fourteen books out, you know. Yeah. They're all from Lulu. Lulu. It's a legitimate pub- publishing company. Um, it's uh, print on demand. So a guy like me can get can get published now because let's say Barnes and Noble say we want ten books they don't they just print up ten books. It's not like years ago you you know you, you were an unknown you brought they had to print up ten thousand books put an investment in you. There's no investment in you now. They give you a page, they give you a, a web page, and uh, you download your book. You pick the cover everything, and somebody orders it from Lulu. You set the price. They get a percentage because they're giving you a page. They're, they're printing the book for you. But you don't have to pay nothing. So it's not a vanity press. It's a print-on-demand press. Anyway, I got 14 books up. But uh, for you guys that like to hear about Jersey stuff, I'd get Sins of the Fathers. And I, the latest one out is called Rise and Fall of the Sewer King. I'll talk about that one later. I think I'm running up too much time on the camera. All right. Talk to you later. This is Vito from Jersey. You tell me what you think. Look at his beautiful joint here. Look, Look at that. All right. Ciao, ci vediamo. Ci vediamo. Ci vediamo. Ciao.